I definitely identify with the way in which we live our lives. There's a connection to something greater than myself. There's a connection to a community of people that share similar beliefs. It's an extension of me. It's my family. It's my belief system. The building is important, but ultimately it takes place inside. Be rich in good deeds, liberal and generous, thus laying a good foundation for the future. Our community was established by a small group of Orthodox Christians back in 1999 and ever since we've been growing uh, and now we have about uh, 70 families. We are blessed to tell the story of the Apostolic Church 2000 years after Christ himself founded the Orthodox Church. So we do this in word and deed, showing and sharing our historical, theological, sacramental uh, identity as Orthodox Christians. One of the misunderstandings about the Orthodox Church is that it's based on a specific ethnic group, being Greek, Russian, Romanian. However, our parish welcomes everybody from all ethnic backgrounds or no ethnic background. Most of our parishioners are either people that have come to faith as adults or have moved from other areas and have been converted to the Orthodox Church somewhere else. Orthodox Church north of Grand Rapids or Saginaw and we serve people from Lake City to Petoskey and Charlevoix, as far as Gaylord and Grayling, so we cover a lot of land. We currently have about 70 full-time families, but of course during the summer we have much higher attendance uh, because many people from Chicago, downstate and around the country come and visit our area. Orthodox experience is immersive. Ministry is the fruit of the relationship we have with God. See, God is central in our life as Orthodox Christians. Not only we go back in the historical sense of the church, but the spiritual experience and the communion with God and with Christ is central and determines everything else around us. Our mission statement really is sharing God's love in words and deeds. As our family has grown, we felt that we outgrew this location. People continue to come to our church and they wanted a permanent presence, a permanent home for the community so that we may better serve our members, but more importantly, the members of the local community here in Traverse City. New church campuses are being built every day. However, our take was, let's build a modern campus for an ancient church. And from there, we developed a wonderful and amazing concept. If you think about the design process, we paid special attention on the two axes of our existence as human beings. On the horizontal axis, the one that talks about the relationship we have with one another and our environment, we want it to be immersive, to be very light on the environment. On the vertical axis, the one that connects us with God, we use transitory building elements from the heavy rock on the bottom going up into the building of the sanctuary to the light glass supported dome. Everything tells a story. With the way in which we live our lives, there's a connection to something greater than myself. There's a connection to a community of people that share similar beliefs. It's an extension of me. It's my family. It's my belief system. It was one of the reasons we didn't almost move here because there wasn't an Orthodox church. So in conversations with others from downstate who were also thinking of coming up here, one of the things that we talked about is, well, if there are enough of us, we should just start our own church then. And that, that's kind of what happened. Building this church here in Traverse City was really a dream of ours from the, from the very beginning. Although it wasn't something that was as conceptualized as it is now, we just knew that we wanted a church in Traverse City. We wanted it to be permanent. We wanted a place for our children. More than anything else, I had two small children at the time, and the other people that had connected, that we had connected as a group, knew that it needed to be something that could last. It wasn't just for us in this moment, it was something that we wanted to be here forever. For us as Orthodox Christians, it's important to worship, to pray, to learn about God, but it's also extremely important to put that faith in action. So the organic community garden has served that very purpose. The location of our project is important. 
The fact that the property is on US 31 in Acme, overlooking the beautiful East Bay, is not a coincidence. When searching for a site, we have paid special attention to be accessible, inspirational, and visible. And if you think that Acme is the gateway of the corridor between Pet Traverse City, Charlevoix, Petoskey, Mackinac, it is like a beautiful entrance into the community of Traverse City. The new campus will enable our members to enhance their participation in our church, but also in the local community. That's why the campus will have three distinct areas, each one of them having around 5,000 square feet. The community hall, the classes and the offices area, and of course the church, which is central to our campus. Throughout the planning process, we have been very intentional about organically bringing together orthodox traditional elements with contemporary design. We've challenged our design team to develop and implement sustainable practices throughout the project. It's not so much about me, or even for that matter, the people that are members of this church here. It's for the people that don't know about the Orthodox Church. So an example would be, based on my story, you know, driving down US 31, which has a high visibility area where the church is going to be, and seeing something that looks kind of different. It's not the type of churches here we in the West are accustomed to seeing. So just seeing that, you know, and initially I might say, oh my gosh, is that Christian? I see the cross, so that would help, obviously. Okay, um, so for me, it's, it's not so much about me. It's about others. The theology is rich, beyond rich. If you, if you want to peel the onion back, it's obviously that's your choice. You don't have to do that, but we just we love the theology of the church, and that was the real main attraction for us. The church means so many different things to me. It means my faith. It means following the tenets of Jesus Christ to bring the word to people in northern Michigan. And also, we are a very philanthropic church, and so we volunteer. We do a lot of things in the community because that's what we're called to do. In the new church, uh, I want Father Supreme to officiate my wedding, and I won't get married unless he's the one that officiates my wedding. It really warms my heart to have Melena involved. It's uh, very important to me. It, it's been, the church was very important as I was growing up, and I'm glad that she has that here, because if we didn't have this here, she'd be missing out on that. So it, it really makes me proud. The last two years, we've raised over $2 million towards our goal of $3 million. And now we're entering the public phase of our campaign to raise that last million dollars so we can break ground. The campaign is really about bringing a community asset to Traverse City. Not only are we open to those who are seeking the Word of God, but we are open to those who would like to visit, would like to come onto the property to take advantage of the community garden uh, and, and the other facilities that would be available to anybody in Traverse City. We believe in supporting the things that are valuable to us. This is the most meaningful, valuable thing in our lives. It's a time to build. You know, having meetings in a coffee shop to coming to this space was amazing enough, but then to actually see plans and then to start the campaign, I mean, it really has been, I, I don't want to say a lifelong dream because I couldn't have dreamt of this, but it's definitely been one of the most fulfilling, exciting endeavors <laughs> that I've ever been a part of. For you, for the community, for God, please make your donation today. It's a time to grow. It's a time to build. It's a time to give.